Hello! In this video we're going to demonstrate how loops work in Python. Particularly we're going to look at two for loops and a while loop. In the first for loop, you notice we have for i in range 10. Well that means we're going to let the value of i cycle between 0 and 9. It'll never actually get up to 10. That's the way the range function works. So what this is going to do is it's going to print out the value of i all on one line because we've got end equals a space here. So we won't be finishing the line when we print. And here's the output of that first loop. You notice it goes from 0 to 9. We never get up to the 10. Here's the second loop. Once again, we're using the range function. But this time we have the, uh, I, uh, the values 1, 11 inside the range function. So that means it's going to start at 1, but it won't get to 11. It'll stop at 1 less than 11, which is at 10. Once again, printing them all on one line. So here's the output of that loop. And then... Uh, in each case, after these for loops, because we're printing them all on one line, we needed this to actually finish the line. We needed a blank print to finish the line. Now, after that second for loop finishes, the value of i is 10. So what we'll do is we'll start a while loop that will continue while i is greater than or equal to 0. So as long as that condition is true, it'll print out the value of i all on one line because of the end operator. But there's a danger here of an endless loop. Whenever you have a while loop, you have to make sure that you eventually get the loop to finish or else you have an infinite or endless loop. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the value of i by minus 1 by using the minus equals operator. That will gradually reduce i by minus 1 as this loop cycles. And that will give us this output from 10 down to 0. Now, the reason that we got the 0 in the output was we used greater than or equal to here. If I had just greater than, this, this output would have stopped at the 1 here. Now one more point is, uh, after this loop finishes, another way that we can finish the line is with a backslash n. That's the new line escape code, and that will generate a new line before printing out the value of i after the loop has finished. And you'll notice that after the loop finished, the value of i is minus 1, and that's what made this loop stop. And by the way, we get a space here because whenever you separate print items uh, with a comma, you automatically have a space inserted. Now let's run this with uh, the debug window open. I've got three breakpoints here, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this with the debugger. And we'll step into main. Now we'll step into that first loop. And I'm actually going to hit uh, the over to go through it line by line. And you'll notice as it cycles through the loop, the value, see how the loop keeps repeating the same code over again? It goes from 0 up to 9. Now I'm into the second for loop. And once again, I'm going to click over repetitively. You can see the value of i changing down here as the loop cycles. And this one's going to go from 1 to 10. Now we're going to start the while loop. You'll notice that i has a value of 10 before we start the while loop. And as we continue to click over here and run the while loop, you'll see the values gradually decrease as the loop cycles. And it'll get down to 0, which will be the last one. And then one more click, and we'll see the minus 1 final output. Hope that helps you understand how loops work.